the vaults did not house the terrible. Why did they make these games so this is good. dull and flat in colours? I mean, I know it's nice here, but this because I have the um, yes, that's because I have a uh, sweet FX pro profile. A lover kind died many years ago. Yes. I wish I could show you the magic she performed. What's that on his chin? Who is oh, right, it's part of the where are these temples Minerva spoke of? Outfit he's wearing. I do not know. Perhaps we must search for them. Is they supposed to be metal? Me it ended with no, I don't think so. Did Rodrigo beg forgiveness? Make excuses. Promise power in return. No. I don't remember actually. What did he do? Interesting. Yes. I'm surprised he remained. Interesting. So I let him leave. The Spaniard lives. Once our enemies. Bebes. We can leave. see the and gods and ancient places. And my book. You should have killed him. We're sure to suffer for it. Maybe. I'm not here to debate the past. Maybe. Together, we should discuss the future. No. The future of my Rome. face. Ezio, I do not know why you spared him, but because I your judgment. Yes. Machiavelli will come around. Uh, yeah, um, is this the one where we think he's been betraying us, or is that the next one? Maria Auditore, date of birth 1432, profession writer, noble. Tomorrow I will make torta bolognese. I have to pick up the eggs and meat from the market and will be back in time to open the bakery as the sun strikes the top of the courtyard. How privileged a life we lead. It is hard to remember on such a day that what is given may also be taken away. These are the final lines of Maria's diaries. Born into the powerful banking family, the Mozzi, Maria is one of the most famous historical sources of the t uh, time period due to her multi-volume diary which has been translated by several notable scholars and is on display in the Uffizi Gallery in Florence. Now, thanks to the Animus, we know why her diary ceased. After her husband Giovanni's arrest, during which Maria was mistreated by Florence's guards, she entered a semi-catatonic state. Cared for by Ezio's sister Claudia at the Villa de Torre, she remained silent for years until Ezio brought her a bundle of feathers he had collected during his travels, an activity that her youngest son Petruccio once engaged in. Brought back to life by Ezio's gift, her temperament has been improving steadily since. Do I get one for Cloudy as well? No, get one for Machiavelli though. Niccolo Machiavelli, date of birth 1469, profession philosopher, writer, politician. Unarmed prophets have always been destroyed, whereas armed prophets have succeeded. These cynical words were written by Niccolo Machiavelli, one of the greatest minds of the Renaissance, considered a pioneer of realist philosophy. He believed that all men are evil and will act upon their vicious nature if given the chance. The third son of a Florentine attorney, Machiavelli was tutored by his father in grammar, rhetoric and Latin. In 1494, he entered government service as a clerk and an ambassador. Made a member of the Florentine Diplomatic Council, he was sent to the courts of France, Spain and Rome between 1499 and 1512. It was during this time that he met Cesare, immediately taken with the young Captain General Machiavelli, with the young Captain General. Machiavelli wrote, what's a Captain General? I can find no fault with him. Machiavelli followed Cesare, learning his approach to war until 1500, when he became de facto leader of the Assassins. From 1500 to 1503, he settled in Rome, although little is known of his activities there. In 1503, Machiavelli was put in charge of the Florentine militia and the city's defence. He recruited citizens for his militia, preferring men who had a stake in Florence's continued success to dispassionate mercenaries. His strategy seemed to work in 1509, when Florence defeated Pisa. Machiavelli continued to participate in Florentine government after the Medici family was chased out, but when the Medici returned, they arrested and tortured him. He was accused of conspiring against them. Unable to find any wrongdoing, the Medici exiled Machiavelli. He retired to a state in Santa Andrea, where he wrote his famous works The Prince, The Discourses of Livy, and The Florentine Histories. Machiavelli died in 1527. His place of burial remains unknown. Is that everyone? Not Catherine Svartz, of course. Date of birth, 1463. Profession, Countess of Farley. Noble. A countess by marriage, Caterina was notorious far before she ever arrived in Farley. Raised in the court of Milan, she received a classical education while tutored in the art of war by her father, the Duke. At court, Caterina also acquired a passion for alchemy and hunting. In 1473, when she was ten years old, Caterina became engaged to Girolamo Riario, the Pope's nephew. They consummated their marriage when she was fourteen. Once in Rome, she was heralded as one of the most outgoing nobles at court, while her husband had a reputation for being one of the most ruthless. 
With the premature death of the Pope's brother, Girolamo gained even more power, securing the titles of Lord of Imola and Forli. When the Pope died, Lutus sacked Rome, destroying Caterina's residence. Unafraid, despite being seven months pregnant, Caterina rode on horseback to the Castel Sant'Angelo and defended the Vatican with cannon fire and soldiers. In 1848, she moved with her family to Forli, paid off by someone with a grievance against her husband. The Orsi brothers killed Girolamo in 1488. As a result, Caterina became the ruler of Forli and Imola. She wasted no time winning the favour of nearby rulers, revising the tax system and training the militia herself. Although she advocated peace when those around her were hurt, she dealt fierce vengeance, frequently killing enemies' wives and children in punishment. <clears throat> in 1499, Cesare, in his quest for terror, we'll find out who he is for soon, don't worry, he was that guy at the beginning that I saw stabbed in the chest, that neck area. In 1499, Cesare, in his quest for territory, decided to return Foley to papal rule. Side note, the papacy claimed ownership of most regions in Italy. These lands were lent out to rulers, but papal troops could march in and reclaim them at any point, much like libraries set out to burn down the homes of those who keep books checked out for too long. As Cesare marched towards Caterina, she sent the Pope a friendly letter that had been rubbed with the sores of plague victims. It went downhill from there. As an assault by papal forces became inevitable, Caterina snuck out of Foley with a small company of soldiers on Christmas Day 1499 and journeyed to Monteregione seeking armed support from Ezio Auditore. Oh, that should be everything. Uh, do I go in there or am I... Oh, it's upstairs. Let's see. Let's see the mum side. Let's see the, the mum women's. Mummins! Hey, bitch. Did I just hear talking? Thought I heard voices. Oh, wait, no, it's my bedroom now all of a sudden. In the previous game, this was his mother's bedroom. Why is it now my bedroom? Oh, whatever. Well, why is it now his bedroom? Yes. <coughs> Boots. I can tell you for certain it takes a hell of a lot more to get those things off than just doing that. They are a nightmare. In that respect. Great to wear, though. Very comfortable. <clears throat> oh, here we go. <sighs> yeah, sure. Welcome home. Bitches. She looks like an old crack whore. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> Look at those animations. They, we still have a long way to go before we can get things like that right. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Why they were just sort of pecking at each other. <sighs> I wonder why this one didn't get any flack, but Mass Effect did, which had really... I mean, this is really tame, but Mass Effect is even tamer. It's sex scene things, I mean. Look at the state of him. He's like, yeah, bitches. I'm like, flopping around like a wet fish. <laughs> As opposed to a dry fish? Sure. He's flopping around like a dead wet fish at that. <laughs> Somebody just got him and just started going, look, 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 look. Just shaking him about. <sighs> Ready to go again? Sure. Apparently she does. One should always hey, Mark. To choose. We do, bitch. Yes. Nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> it's totally not us getting murdered. Yes. So we're bitches. What's going on with these bitches? Uh. I have to find Mario and rally the troops. Um. <laughs> 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 His armor's supposed to be broken. <laughs> I was just about to say, what's so wrong with it? He's just lay on the floor, but then comes back to him and he's in his full outfit anyway because, of, of course, I changed the costume. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. Oh, breaking the game. Oh, bitches. It's the bitches. They must have passed to the east during the night. <clears throat> they must have massed to my beast during the fish. Oh really? 
The Vorka must not be allowed to breach the walls until everyone yeah. is safely away. I'm keeping my dick safe. I oh, I should turn the subtitles back on, of course. It does actually have, um... Uh, which one is it? General, isn't it? Nope. Mod? Nope. Which one is it? Controls? Nope. Graphics? Oh, it is there! Duh. Yeah, I should turn that on because it does... Um, you know, I can't be asked. I really can't be asked with the translations of the, the the Italian. You can just live with it. I win. Uh, why are you telling me about the Villa Auditore again? Wee! Horseman. I'll just oh lost all my monies because reasons. Uh. Ish. I, I wonder what the point of all this is. Just zigzagging through the streets. Why do I have to zigzag through the streets exactly? Yeah, whatever. It's just its excuse for me losing all. Oh no, poor horsey! It's just its excuse for me losing all of my um, equipment, basically. Uh. Boop -ba -doop -ba -doop. Oh, can't climb all that one. Can't climb all that one. Okay, I can climb all that one then. <coughs> uh, villagers left to flee. Man the cannon. What if I mount the cannon? Mm. What do you think about that then? Uh. Which one? That one. Ish. Uh. Knock that down. Knock down those bitches. Knock down tap bitches. Uh. Bitch. Destroy those ones. And bitches. Ish. You get like two or three. Well, I just got two, but you can get like three at a time if you get them just right. No, I only got two there, unfortunately. Oh well, never mind. Uh, go for the cannons, bitches. Oh, I only got one. Wait, are those cannons not even firing? Oh, they are firing, yeah. All right, fair enough. My bitches will die, bitches. And go. Uh, did I miss it? Damn it. Never mind. I'll get it next time. Uh, if I don't get you next time, I'll get you last time. I should probably take down that that turret there as well. That tower. Oh, that could work too. Cool. Or not, as the case may be. Right, let's get some of these. Uh! Damn it, I missed. I thought I would have murdered the sniff out of them, but whatever. Bitches. God damn it, seriously, I only got one? Ah, oh, well, whatever. There we go. There's another one. Um, we are gonna get the, the villagers out, right? Ish. Should do. Oh, God, I got two that time. Um. Uh! Ish. Now, let's take out one of their. Big turret things. Look at those guys spazzing out down there, just waving the things around. Uh! And another one can go. Uh! And that should knock it down, right? Yeah, the villagers have gone. The fleagers, villages. Yay! Because you know we, don't, we we thought it'd be a good idea to just put like four cannons on the front. Because reasons. Exactly, do I get a. I have to go up and then down for some reason. Alright, whatever. Uh, oh, for God's sake. Fine, I'll hit and blade the sniff out of him. Uh. Alright, come on, bitches. Let's start with the thick. Wait, I have a gun already? Uh. Bitches! Yep, just murder my way through everyone. Ow! Okay, they randomly broke through it for some reason. Okay, you'll do. And then you. And then you can go get sniffed. Oh, that guy. I can't. Yeah, you can. Okay, fair enough. Oh, oh, can I pick up his. No. I want to pick up his. Yeah, there we go! Now we're cooking with sniff. 
Aha! Um, oh, wrong button. Oh, got it. Press the wrong button there. Wrong button again. Uh, no. While in combat, press A to kick breaking enemies' defenses. There we go, that works. Is that everyone dead? The kick, I think, was new to this as well, actually. Oh no! Mario! He's like, uh, that's Chesterday. Chesterday. That's Katarina. Fish. Those two there, Chesterday and Lucretia. They were supposedly incestuous. Where was it then? Why wasn't it inside the walls? Exactly. Did he just say something about fashion forest? Cool. Look at the fat bastard. My family. To yours. <laughs> now he changed his outfit back to what it was. Wait, who shot me? Who shot him? Ah, oh, whatever. But yeah, and then it goes back to the default outfit, because of course it does. Because it was broken enough already. Ugh. Hey, bitches. Basta. I can walk. Look out! Yes. They are coming! Everyone retreat to the villa! Ugh. I cannot fight like this. Stand cool. with me! And they're like, yeah, whatever. Apart from the fact that you really can fight like this. See? Bitches. He's acting perfectly fine. Like, there's absolutely nothing wrong with him. Uh, because game and stuff. Why did they drag him into that corner anyway, exactly? Come on, bitches. Uh, you know what? I want some hidden blade kills. Come on, bitches. Attack him, bitches. Yeesh. Well, that was hard. Oh, I'm going to loot some people, because why not? I want some monies. Give me monies. Money, monies. Mm -mm 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 monies. Wait, did I get nothing? Seriously? I'm getting nothing? Alright, whatever. I guess it's so that they c I can't break the game by getting healed. Ugh! <sighs> Come here, bitches. Uh, get bitches. Okay, he's going after Claudia again. Alright, come here, you. You can get dead next. And then you. Uh, and then you can die. And then, sure. We'll just leave those guys to die over there. They can all die on their own. All die on their own, bitches. Uh. Well, you know. Cool. You do that. You just randomly face away from me. See how that works out for you? Yeah, you do that, bitches. Uh. You do that, bitches. Come on. Die already. Die already. Fine. Uh. Oh, okay. That works too. Was it the first R screen where I was trying to like stab somebody and then my horse like killed them or kicked me or something? Cool. Ish. I'm not trying to get away. I'm gonna stab you in the. I'm gonna completely break the physics of the universe and stab you in the face. Uh. Etsy bitch. Bitch CEO. Yeah. Hey, you just watched me coming in the door, you mong snap. Um he was just trying to leave. Why is he now suddenly going to help the troops? Thieves. Renaissance thieves were usually wanderers who could vanish at the first sign of trouble, making it hard for guards to track them. Black market business in Renaissance Italy was booming. Muggings in the major cities were fairly common, as were murders. Often strollers were attacked in the dead of night, killed, robbed, and then rolled into the nearest city, uh, river, city, rolled into the nearest river or canal. Even if a thief merely stole rather than killed, the penalties if caught were often unduly harsh. Torture was common. 
thieves were put in stocks and sometimes even publicly executed. 